its quest to find water on the moon, China is all set to deploy a smart robotic flying detector. Yes, a flying robot will be China's next tool in search for water on the moon's south pole. According to reports, China will be launching its Chang'e 7 mission next year to explore the lunar south pole. And this mission would play a pivotal role in laying the groundwork for a future research station on the moon. And also for China's ambitious goal of landing humans on the moon by 2030. The Chang'e 7 mission will consist of an orbiter, a lander, a lunar rover and a flying detector. Upon landing, the rover, lander and detector will work together to carry out the most detailed survey of the moon's pole to date. Not just that, the six-leg Chinese flying detector will also be able to climb, crawl, jump and even fly using rocket propulsion. Further, allowing it to explore rock terrain and deep craters beyond the reach of other wheeled rovers. Well, according to a 2023 research paper by the China Academy of Space Technology, the flying detector can travel dozens of kilometers in a single leap when compared to conventional rovers which are limited to a range of just a few kilometers. And after arriving on the moon, the detector is expected to perform at least three powered leaps before switching to solar power for extended surface exploration. This mission marks a major step towards China's goal of building a permanent research station on the moon and also opening new possibilities in space exploration. Now for years, scientists have considered the south pole of the moon as a potential location where ice deposits in permanently shadowed craters have never been exposed to sunlight for billions of years. And this resource may be one of the requirements for long-lasting human habitation on the moon. With well, China's Chang'e 7 mission, Beijing has mounted a major effort to establish itself as a key player in space, a domain that nations, including the United States, are increasingly looking at, not just for scientific benefit, but also with an eye to resources and national security.